Hi everybody. Welcome to Deal Loving Diva. My name is Vanessa and I am here with you today to continue on with the Couponing 101 series. Today's video is going to be about coupon matchups. Um, I know a lot of you probably hear these extreme couponers saying matching up or matchups or matching my coupons. Well, you're about to learn how to do it and what it means. Okay. First off, um, I'm going to use Albertsons as an example. Um, this is just a pretty plain, um, pretty plain little example here. I mean, you can use any store flyer. I mean, coupon matchups just means matching coupons with store sales ads. Okay, so we're going to do grocery store Albertsons, like I said. But when you when you really are getting into couponing, you want to do it with more than just one sales ad. I'm using this solely for the purpose of an example. Um, like for example, at my house, I'll sit here and I'll have Albertsons. And then I'll have Kroger's, and I'll have uh, Tom Thumb, which is also Safeway. I'll have all three sales ads laid out, and I'll go through each of them, like I'm about to show you, and do the same thing with all three. Then I match up, you know, what I've written down and find out who's got the best deals. Okay, so that's obviously the main goal is to find out what store has the best sales and what you have coupons for because what's on sale at Albertsons may not be on sale at Kroger, vice versa. Okay, so you kind of get my drift on that, but this is for explanation purposes only and I'm just going to show you the basics of matching up coupons. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so when you first open up a store flyer like this, um, First of all, these grocery store coupons, um, or I'm sorry, the sales ads run from Wednesday through Tuesday. Okay, so they'll come to your house. They're free. If they don't come to your house, you can get them on their website. Um, it's called a weekly sales ad, and you have to put in your zip code to uh, see what's on sale in your area because they do differ from store to store, as do coupon policies. But um, so I get these Wednesday um, in my driveway. They get thrown in my driveway, so uh, I quickly go unwrap them and see what all I got. But all right, they'll come like this, and just make sure you want to open it up like this to make sure you can see everything. But we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so I'm kind of skimming over it, seeing what's on sale. There's a lot of good stuff. I'm seeing some things that I've got coupons for on this front page. But it's stuff I've already gotten with my coupons, and I really don't want to hoard it. I don't want to get any more of those little Pepperidge Farm things. I'm okay. Uh, really not seeing anything I can't live without on this front page. All right, and then I look over here, and this automatically catches my eye because it says save $4 instantly. Well, anything I can save on at the store and use coupons with, that's great because I can stack manufacturer's coupons with store coupons, okay? And this is considered a store coupon, these sales. So, or well, any kind of store coupon that doesn't say manufacturer's coupon or a sales ad. You get what I'm saying, right? So we start out here. Um, it says save four dollars instantly when you buy any of the four participating Procter and Gamble items. All right. Well, um, the Procter and Gamble brand saver that came in the Sunday paper had a lot of good stuff. Uh, for example, I do have a Charmin coupon, but I really don't need any toilet paper, so I don't need that. That's not a great deal. Uh, Tide, I got a thirty-five cent off coupon. They'll probably triple it at my Albertsons. They will triple it, uh, and that'll take seventy-five cents off or no, a dollar five off, and I don't really need it that bad. And I'm good, I'm good. I don't have a baby. Ah, here we go. Here's something that is under a dollar, okay? So, with the save four dollars instantly when you buy any four of the following items, mix and match available, this would be 99 cents. Like if I were to go into Albertsons and not have any coupons, I'd pay 99 cents a piece for a tube of toothpaste. You're thinking, well, I can go to the dollar store. All right, think again. I'm going to go over here to Green Bean, and I'm going to flip to my health and beauty section. And I'm going to find my toothpaste. Here's Procter & Gamble toothpaste. All right, right here, 75 cents off. Any one Crest toothpaste, four ounces or larger. Well, any toothpaste, six ounces or larger. We're good. I have a matchup. Let's see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four. I have four of these coupons. Perfect. Okay, so I can get 75 cents off. Let's just call it a dollar. So 25 cents a piece when I go check out because I'm going to get them at 99 cents a piece just for buying four of them. All right, at the store, and then I'll give them my four coupons, and I'll walk out of there with four tubes of toothpaste for a dollar. See what I mean? Because each one of these is going to take 75 cents off. 
All right, and so I'm buying four things so I can use four, four coupons. You get how that works? Cool. All right, um, I'm probably not going to do that deal because I already have like a bunch of toothpaste, but it's a great deal for anybody else who may have gotten the paper. All right, and then, so we know we got something for that deal. All right, opening it up. Look right here, buy one, get two free. How awesome is that? Anytime you see something like that, go for it, all right, especially if it's a coupon matchup. Uh-oh. Okay. Mount Olive. I know that my boyfriend brought me a blinky when we were at the grocery store the other day. Oh, my God. I swear, he is like such a little puppy dog. When I go shopping, he is like on the hunt for coupons and blinkies. And he'll go gather them up, and like at the end of the shopping trip, he's like, look, look, look what I got for you. Oh, my gosh. Look, are you super excited? I mean, I'm like, I am super proud of you. You've done such a good job. Like, you want a cookie? I mean, like, you want a cookie now or on the way home? And anyway, it's like, good boy. But, all right. So, uh, Long story short, he brought me like four coupon blinkies for these Mount Olives. Let's make sure they have, I have a coupon for the dill or sweet relish because I think it was pickles, but let me check. All right, over here, back to green bean condiments. Well, well, well. Save 75 cents off of pickles, peppers, and relish. Booyah! All right, so I've got a really good coupon matchup right here. Um, this is kind of one of those things where you kind of want to get as many as you can. But I'll probably only do the buy one, get two free. But guess what, y'all? I can use three coupons because Albertsons is scanning three products. Although we're getting two of them for free in Albertsons size, the manufacturer coupons, it doesn't matter. You can use one coupon per item scanned and per manufacturer coupon at the store. Okay? So I'm going to get 75 times 3 off of there. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get 75 cents off each of them. Um, be a dollar fifty. I'm not really good at math. Two twenty-five. It's a money maker. Okay, this is a money making deal. All right, I'm going to walk out of there. Them owing me money. All right, that is how you extreme coupon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, right there we can end this video. No, I'm just kidding. So I know that right now I'm going to write down Mount um, on my little sheet of paper. Right here, I'm going to write down Mount Olive. Pickle relish. I'm gonna write down three next to it and circle it because that's how many I wanna uh, I wanna buy. And then in an envelope, I'm gonna put my uh, my three Mount Olive coupons. Got it? All right. Moving on. Ah, look at this. Five dollars off your purchase of fifty dollars or more. I'm gonna go ahead and snag that just in case. All right. Flipping it open. And you guys, I'm sorry if I run out of time. All right. Well, we've already looked at this guy. Um. All right, I'm not really seeing anything that I can't live without and that I have a major coupon for. Free cheese. Okay. Buy any package of cheese at Amazon. Eh, I'm good. Um, all righty. Let's see, see, see. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Okie dokie. Um, good. I know I'm not really much of a drinker. I think I'm going to go to Albertsons solely for some pickle relish. What do y'all say? Anyway, I hope that you guys learned something out of this video, um, whether it was um, how crazy I am and how funny I am. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, this is what coupon matching is. It's simply looking at your flyer and, and comparing them to the coupons that you have on hand. Okay? Always make sure, make sure, make sure you have this list ready to go. Okay? And your coupons in an envelope ready to go when you check out because you don't want to be fumbling through you know, 20 categories and, and all this for a coupon. I mean, that's a real good way to make the person behind you get upset. But, um, but let me just go ahead and throw in real quick before my 10 minutes is up. Never, never, never be embarrassed to use a coupon at a store. Stores get reimbursed face value of every coupon plus a uh, handling and processing fee. So do not be embarrassed. I've had some comments, are you embarrassed? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. I'm excited to use coupons. I don't overdo it. I don't hoard. I don't have enough to feed an army. But I like to save money, and so should you. But uh, anyway, I hope that you guys have learned something, and let me know what you got from the grocery store. Happy couponing. Bye.